This is Princess Avenue, one of the main thoroughfares into and out of Hull. It's also just two minutes from an aquatic oasis teeming with life, which I'm really keen to see. But I've not come all the way here to see a man swimming in his garden pond. I'm here to catch up with these little fellas who share it with him. Water's lovely, Mike. Are you coming in? Bill Marsden spent tens of thousands of pounds building this swimming pond so he could share his daily dip with newts and other amphibians. So, Bill, come on, tell me how this crazy garden pond came about. We had a little bit of money. We decided, what can we do that's different? And you planted all these native plants around? All the uh, planting around the uh, edges provide what is necessary to make the water sweet. And it's effectively rainwater. And the wildlife responded almost immediately? Nothing has been introduced. When we first uh, set up the pond, we filled it to check that there was no leaks. And we heard these plop, 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 plop from above. And it was beetles. They had seen the water. They were obviously flying up there. And they were all just diving in. It was quite amazing. So lots of aquatic insects, but the real stars, of course, are the newts. There are thousands of newts. In the breeding season, you just put in a net and you come up with as many as you like. I think we should swim off and go and find a few. Let's what do, do you say? that. <laughs> The water's quite clear, but even so, it's hard to get close enough for a really good look without frightening the newts away. So we put some in a tank to give you a closer look. These are smooth newts, and you can easily tell the males from the females because they're in their breeding finery there. The males are fabulous creatures. They've got a crest starting just behind the head and going all the way right down to the tip of the tail. The females are a bit more understated and the male uses that crest and his tail to waft in front of the female to beguile her to get her all excited so they can mate and the female during the course of the breeding season will probably lay up to 200 eggs it's not like for example frogs where they lay a mass of eggs together in frog spawn the female will lay individual eggs and of course the most amazing thing is people think they newt spend their entire lives in the water, but it spends far more time on dry land. I have to say, this is just about the best wildlife garden pond I have ever seen. It's astonishing how much is in here. Well, Bill has had enough for one day, but he and his wife Eleanor can come back any time they choose. And I've got pond envy.